you can now transform your written content into lifelike narrations without having to hire voice actors due to an AI called 11 Labs. I will show you exactly how to get the most out of this tool and avoid common mistakes that many people make. And I will show you an example use case of how 11 Labs helps me be more productive and how it helps my customers on my website be more engaged. When you click on the link in the description, you will be led to this website called 11labs.io. This is a service that provides text-to-speech, voice changer, dubbing, and a few other services, and they have a very generous free tier. Everything we're doing in this tutorial will be able, you will be able to do with a free tier, but if you want to top up your credits, you can select the starter option and it's only $5 a month. You get 30,000 credits or about 30 minutes worth of voice cloning. Simply click on get started, sign up for an account or sign in if you already have one. In order to record any voiceovers with your text, simply click on voices. You see all of the voices that you've used or that you've saved in the My Voices tab. Yours is likely empty at this moment. Simply click on the library tab and you see a bunch of voices to choose from. This one here, Mark Natural Conversations, has 150,000 people that use his voice. Let's see how that sounds like. I think this is a really nice way to just talk naturally together. You know, talk plainly. Let's give it a shot. Wow. Wow, that sounds so natural. It sounds like someone recorded that, but uh, this is a fake AI voice. Let's see how an, a few other voices sound like. Let me tell you what my grandpa... Damn, that is so deep. Wonderful. And let's find a female voice. Let's click on Cassidy. I just love talking about movies, you know, TV. Wonderful. That is incredible. So in order to use this for your own project, you simply click on the add to my voices tab and then click on the, the use symbol. You can type something into the text to speech field right here and we can select generate speech in order to generate this voice. As you can see here, it uses 28 characters and on the left hand side, you see how many characters you have remaining within your plan. On the right hand side, we have a few levers to deal with. The stability is pretty much how the voice sounds like between generations. And for longer text blocks, you want this to be lower around 40% in order to not sound monotonous. But you don't want to go below 30 because then you might have some instability. The similarity also targets the speaker similarity and it creates an overall enhancement of the voice and the clarity. If you keep this too high, you might have some artifacts. So really try to keep that underneath 80 and try to keep stability. A sweet spot is 35 and 75. The style exaggeration is has faster generations when you have it at none. And if you wanted to have a little bit more expressiveness in the voice, then you ramp that up. But I usually like to keep it around 50% in order to get nice expressive voices. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this on my website later when I use my own voice and the levers on the right side in order to create something for my customers. So let's see how this sounds like with the added values that we have here. This is an example sentence. That sounds really great and natural. If you want to use this already, you can click on the download latest. You can also share this with people and generate a link in order for people to get access to this via the website without having to send the file. Before we get into generating and cloning our own voices, let's see what we can do with the voice changer. If we click on the voice changer, we can click on a character that we selected, for example, female. I just love talking. And if we want to now change our voice to a female voice with the same cadence and the same way we speak, if you want to add this to a YouTube video or something, you can simply record record yourself and then translate your, your voice into a female voice. Check this out. My name is Mo and I'm showing you an example of how I can translate my voice to a female voice. Let's check this out. And this is how I sound like. My name is Mo and I'm showing you an example of how I can translate my voice to a female voice. Let's check this out. How cool is that? I love that. But let's get to the exciting part, and that is cloning our own voice. Click on the Voices tab over here, and you see something called Create or Clone a New Voice. When you click on Add a New Voice, you can now select uh, either the voice design, the instant voice clone, or professional voice clone. I only have one of these, and I've already created this, and you need 30 minutes of audio. So we're not doing that today. Instead, we're gonna do the instant voice clone. And as you can see here, we need only 10 seconds of audio. Simply select that and make sure to follow the instructions. The common mistakes that people make, they are in a noisy environment or they have a really bad microphone that they're using or they're too far away from the microphone and it's very echoey in the, in the room. And you want to make sure to use consistent equipment and are the right amount uh, of distance from your microphone when you record yourself. So I have a microphone right here. If you don't have one, just use whatever you have or buy one from Amazon. I'll leave some links in the description for something as cheap as $30 and select record audio. And now you want to give it between 10 and 30 seconds of uninterrupted speech. I'm going to vary my voice and cadence a little bit in order for my voice to sound as natural as possible. 
Hi, this is Mo, and I'm trying to clone my voice right now. I'm trying to speak as fast as possible so that my clone voice also learns how to speak really quickly. So this is my example voice, and I'm nearing the 30 seconds of uh, maximum time, and I'm gonna just select stop, pause, and pause recording. You can now listen to this again and see Hi, if it sounds this is good Mo, and, But I know it sounds good already, and now click next. I'm gonna quickly label this so I know that this is me. I'm gonna give it some other labels, and I'm gonna confirm that I have all of the rights to my own voice. I'm gonna click save voice and it only takes a few seconds and your voice has been cloned. You can see your voice here and all you need to do is select the play button in order to listen to yourself now. True friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but they're always there. Wow, that is really good. And you can use it now. So if I were to read out, this is an example sentence. That's how I sound like when I say it. Let's see how my clone sounds like. This is an example sentence. Wow, that is really good. Now let's play with this style exaggeration. Now let's go all the way to 100% and see if I sound any different. This is an example sentence. All right, it sounded, it had more variety and I'm gonna crank everything up right now. I'm gonna click maximum similarity, zero stability, and then 100% exaggeration. This is an example sentence. That sounded perfect. If I were to copy in really long text, it would not work, it would mess up at some point. I'm not gonna select these settings for what we're about to do. So before we go into the use case where I show you how this is actually helpful to my customers and my users on my website, let me show you how you can create a voice that doesn't sound like you. Let's click on the voices and select on add new voice. This time we're gonna select voice design and we're gonna describe what kind of voice we want. So in this case, and we're gonna click generate voice. And it's that simple, where you describe the voice and how you want it to sound like, and then it generates the, the voice The night for you. air carried whispers of betrayal, thick as London fog. That I adjusted great. my cufflinks. It has the accent and it has the south, the rasp that I was looking for. But you have two more options to choose from, so let's The night to air well. carried whispers of betrayal, thick as London. No, that doesn't sound uh, old and confident enough. The night air carried whispers of betrayal, thick as London fog. That is great, it has the accent and the old, a little bit of raspiness, but I, I like the first one the most. So the let's select air. that and select the voice, give it all of the information that it needs, and save the voice. And now we can use it. How do I sound like when I say this sentence? That is phenomenal. That sounds just like a person. Now to the fun part. This is my website at moluker.com where I have a bunch of people that come there to read my blog posts and get the resources for digital entrepreneurship, startup growth, and uh, VC advisory. So here I have an article where I outlined the biggest tech acquisitions ever and what you can learn from them. So if you click on that, it would be really cool for people that don't wanna read through all of this to have a voiceover of it in order to listen to it on the go. So in order to do this, I created a custom GPT that takes in research or a podcast script, and then it converts that into a voiceover that I can then plug into 11 Labs and add to my website. So I go here, I select this and I say, give me the podcast version of this website blog post article. My custom GPT already knows the format and the length that 11 Lab expects. It will also change the wording a little bit and have it flow better throughout the text. So I just have to paste in with the article and it will generate the whole blog post uh, text for me. I usually read through this in order to see if there's anything that is wrong, but usually it's not. And then I go over to 11 Labs, I go to voices and I go back to my own test voice that I just generated. And now all I have to do is I paste this in here and we can see here that I've reached uh, the context limit. So let's go back to 11 Lab uh, to this and actually tell this, and now I take this, bring it back here and paste it. And this time it's only 3,400 characters. Perfect. All I have to do now is select my customization here again. I'm bringing this to 35, keeping this at 80 and then style exaggeration at 10. And now I click generate speech. Welcome to today's episode. We're diving into some of the biggest tech acquisitions ever. Deals that didn't just, and it is generating it as it goes. And you can see here, it sounds like me babe, because I already cloned my voice and the writing is in a way that it sounds very casual as if I'm explaining this in a regular podcast episode. So let's listen to maybe five or 10 more seconds of this. Didn't just make headlines, but completely reshaped industries. From entertainment to social media, these acquisitions show us how visionary thinking can pay off big time. Let's start with Disney buying Marvel in 2000. And now it goes into each of these points that I have on my website where I have here, Disney buying Marvel and so on and so forth. And in order for this to be useful, I simply go into my blog, I click on my posts and go to the blog post. And then after the first intro paragraph, I'm gonna say H2, 
I go back to 11 labs and I download this file as MP3. I create a new block, forward slash block, and say uh, audio, and then select upload. And now I upload it. I can save this and view the blog post. And voila, I have the audio player with my audio representation of how this article should sound like in a blog in a audio format. Welcome to today's episode. We're diving into some of the biggest tech acquisitions ever. Deals that didn't just make. If you don't want it to sound like me, you go back and change the voice. And that's the beauty of 11 Labs. You don't need to have your own voice be on your website. You can have your AI generated uh, old confident South African lady and she can read all of your articles for you. How crazy is that? Welcome to today's episode. We're diving into some of the... But in my opinion, she's a little bit too slow, so I prefer my own voice. And here are three mistakes that people make when cloning their own voice. The first thing that they do is that they don't use a clean audio. So if you don't have a good microphone, just buy one on Amazon. I leave some uh, links in the description. You can buy one for as cheap as $30 and get really clean audio. The second thing is that people record their cloning voice audio in a room that is very echoey. So try to either go into a closet or into a room that has a lot of, a lot of fabrics like curtains or a carpet in order to get a better sounding uh, voice. And the third mistake that people do is that people don't speak consistent enough. If you speak too fast or too slow and then expect it to be the other way around, the audio will not come out as you would like it to be. If you'd like to see more of 11 Labs and any specific feature that you would like me to cover, let me know in the comments and feel free to check out my free podcast script writer in the description.